Last week, we discussed folklore. Today, we get more specific. This is what we call an urban legend. Contemporary folklore passed on as a true story. Something you might have heard about mixing pop rocks and soda. Supposedly, your stomach and your intestines burst. Voila, still alive. Mr. Ross, please. Ah! He's gonna explode! Somebody call 911! <laughs> They are the legends we've all heard. Gang members drive around at night with their headlights off. And when someone goes to flash from their high beams to warn them, they kill them. The stories we've all told. A guy and a girl, and they're parked out in the woods. The guy steps out, and the girl starts to hear these scratching noises. It's her dead boyfriend hung from a tree. The tales we've all listened to. Isn't there another story about a guy with an ax hiding in a woman's back seat? My mom still checks the back seat before getting into a car. But just because it never happened doesn't mean it never will. The decapitated body was found in her car. I knew I should have gone to NYU. This girl, she could have been any one of us. What if there is a lunatic on campus? What is he gonna do next, huh? <laughs> Maybe put spider eggs in bubble gum? <laughs> the idea of an urban legend serial killer. It's a stretch. The call's coming from inside the house. Could it be an urban legend? <laughs> I can help you with. I want to know what's going on here. Someone out there is taking all these urban legends and making them reality. Urban legend. Have you heard the one about the microwave?